Jump, de jump, jump, jump. Can we ixnay the sound effects? Sabrina. Spooky sounds are supposed to inspire the potion making. You want me to be inspired? Tell me I'm done. Hmm. hmm. Not until you bring that time freeze potion to a frothy boil. And after that, you have ancient voodoo practices, hexes 101, and advanced levitation. Hello, I'm only one humble 12 year old. Other kids don't have to do any of this stuff. Other kids aren't half witches like you. So I get saddled with witch work and mortal chores? Can we say prisoner in my own home? Sabrina, get over it. Everyone has different responsibilities in life. And what you're learning here is very important. Like bringing dragon slop to a boil is really gonna matter in the grand scheme of life? Um, that's zombie slop. Whatever. All I know is that every other kid in Greendale is out having a life and I'm stuck here doing witch work with the homegirls. My life is so not normal. <sighs> Uh-oh. Yuck! Looks normal to me. Yep. <clears throat> Sabrina? Harvey. Uh, hi. Don't mind me. I was just mixing some potions. I mean lotions and the collagen. I mean bottle exploded. Uh, right. Listen, Chuck Hansen scored a block of tickets to the spicy Backstreet Guys to Men concert tonight. Forty bucks a person. You in? So in. Give me a minute to tap the cash pipeline. No can go, Sabrina. But Uncle Quigley, this is crucial concert going. If I don't show, everybody's gonna think I'm a total Melvin. And where do you think you're gonna get the money to go? Uh, you? I'm not a bank, Sabrina. I just gave you money two nights ago. Besides, did you forget that tonight is family night? The family that plays together stays together. I've got trivia whiz. But, but Harvey's family's letting him go. That's their choice. Your family wants you to stay home for some quality time. Ugh, I have no freedom to do anything. Don't sweat it, Sabrina. Maybe next time, okay? Yeah. Ugh, if I ever get a life. to your birthday party would mean instant coolness. Take pity on me, Jim, for I am nerd. Oh, nerd. <laughs> okay, you can come. Hurrah! I'll get my Starfleet uniform cleaned and pressed. You better not forget my present. Okay, people, who else among you is a chosen one? Oh, How about you? <laughs> What cruel act is Jem up to now? Passing out tickets to her big birthday bash tonight. Already got mine. A party on a school night? Talk about freedom. I guess rich kids get to do whatever they want. You should go, Sabrina. To a gemstone party? I'd have more fun getting my body dissected by aliens. Oh, come on, Brina. Don't make me go by myself. Please, please, please. I'm all right, but you I owe me big. Come on, Sabrina. You gotta admit, this party rocks. Sure, but take away the $100 door prizes and Puff Daddy's live performance, and it's really just a run-of-the-mill hoedown. Nothing special. All expenses paid trip to France. Compliments of Jim. Care for one? Wow! <laughs> nice try, Willie. But now it's my turn. Montgomery? <laughs> <gasps> oh, look, I win. Happy birthday to me. Did you see that? Yeah, that Montgomery's got a great swing. Oh, brother. 
Okay, everybody. I just want to thank you all for coming to honor me. And yes, I agree. Your little lives are so much better because of my birth. And I... Huh? I... I smell unworthiness. Unworthiness. But, but, Jeb, you invited me. For one simple reason. Every party needs a scapegoat. And you are it. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, who else is unworthy of being in my presence? Spellman? Please push the button. You'll be doing me a favor. What are you babbling about, Spellman? You're an extra special guest who gets the personal tour of my 100-room mansion. She's up to something. This is where Daddy's people create all my fabulous toys. Hello, everyone. That one is evil. One day, brother, a revolution. <laughs> they adore me. All aboard! Jem, you have your own train? Theme park. Jemmyland opens next summer. Awesome! awesome. Man, you're so rich, I bet you don't even have to do chores and stuff. What is this word, chores? You'd know if you stayed at my house for a week. I have servants who take care of my every whim. And no one, but no one ever tells me what to do because it's my life! You mean, you get to plan your own day? You get to do whatever you want? No potions, no hexes, no Uncle Quigley family night? <gasps> High altitude makes me excitable. <laughs> You should have seen it, Salem. Biggest house I've ever seen. Maids and butlers, candy dispensers in every room. Yeah, well, welcome back to reality, princess. The Andes wanted me to make sure you checked out this week's witch work list. Huh? Ugh, why am I the only kid in Greendale living with a family of slave drivers? No one else does. Look at Jem, she has freedom, a life she's in charge of. I want Jem Stone's life! Ahem. Well, there is a way to make that happen. What are you waiting for? Your new life is but a zippity zap away. It's spooky time. Two hearts will now trade places. Two realities will now switch faces. Once necklaces of magic are worn, you'll swap lives like that's the way you were born. The spell can only end, provided the yin and yang necklace is reunited. Huh? Hmm, the spell said both necklaces have to be worn. So how do we get Jem to wear the necklace? Hmm. They're almost under us. Ruby, hurry up and do your business. Hmm. More? Can't. He shoots, he scores. Ah! Uh. Hey, what's the big idea? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Time to rise and shine. <sighs> But it's only five in the morning, Auntie Zelda. Zelda, this <gasps> is Mrs. Chillings. Time to get up, Miss Stone. Salem, did you hear that? She called me Miss Stone. The spell worked. I've switched lives with Jem. I'm the richest girl in Greendale. Woohoo! Is this place styling or what? Now I see why you liked it here. This Mama Casa has everything. I could get used to this. I have 
morning, huh? Stone. Master Salem, please choose a level. Did he just call me Master? Or would you prefer Lord Ooh. Salem, King Salem, Tsar Salem the First? Master will do all right for now. <laughs> boy, oh boy, Quake's gonna learn some new words when we get home. Let's try level three, please. Wow! No way, this is totally jamming. We hit pay dirt, baby! Yahoo! I can finally live life the way I wanna. A whole day living in the lap of luxury with no one telling me what to do. Aha, uh -huh, there you are, Miss Stone. We're already running behind schedule. Guess rich people are so important they need schedules, huh? Indeed. As your personal assistant, it's my job to make certain you stick to yours. Hear that, Salem? I've got a personal assistant. Meow. So when do I get to meet my cool new family? I mean, meet for breakfast. Immediately, madam. Maybe we can all go yachting tonight. I highly doubt that. Huh? Oh, absolutely, Enid. You wouldn't have believed the size of that rock on her hand. Just absolutely gorgeous. Oh, well, sweetheart, if you just learned to work on your backhand. <sighs> uh, morning. I said good morning, Mom and Dad. I've had. Uh, good morning, Sabrina. I'm on the phone, dear. Yeah, well, I just thought maybe we could, you know, talk. Yeah, uh, not now, Sabrina. Uh, stocks are up, shares holding, investment solid. <laughs> Mom? Sabrina, can't you see I'm busy? Anyway, did you see the cheap engagement ring he gave her? <laughs> and she still loves him. <laughs> I was just thinking maybe we could spend the day together. Take a ride on the horses out by the stable. Charles, will you do something? Oh, uh, Sabrina, you wouldn't want us to smother you with attention, now would you? <laughs> Independence builds character. <laughs> now, uh, run along before we have you shipped off to boarding school. Huh? Man, you call these parents? Ugh. No wonder Jem is such a little brat. Huh? Time to move on, Miss Stone. You're falling behind on your morning activities. Activities? It, my partner in pleasure. Not great. Anything about this place bother you? Man, is this a trick question? Lufa, please. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> me like it. Don't you think this place is kind of missing something? Yeah, Hilda, Zelda, quickly, and the smell of middle class life. Salem, I'm serious. So am I. Remember how miserable you were back home? Witch work and mortal chores and never any freedom? You're right. Maybe I'm just overreacting. Sabrina! Harv, boy, am I glad to see you. Hey, Miss Stone! Hey, 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 Miss Stone! Your father's stock has just skyrocketed and you've become the huh? richest girl in the world! Uh, Are you excited? Uh, how do you feel? Yeah. Will you leave me alone? I'm just trying to have a normal life. Okay, that's it. I've got to find Gem and unite our necklaces, because I've had enough. Good luck, <gasps> Snowman. Or should I call you Stone? Gem? That's right. I'm a bona fide half witch, just like you used to be. And I absolutely love my new magic powers. What is your wish, oh mistress? 
just adore me for now. Look, I've made a cost club size mistake. We have to switch back. Ah! As if being a witch is way too much fun, Sabrina. Beats me why you wanted to swap lives. <laughs> what have I done? Wait, Aunt Hilda and Zelda, Uncle Quigley, they can help me. I'm sorry, but I've never laid eyes on you in my life, little girl. But Uncle Quigley, I'm your niece, Sabrina. I only have one niece, Jem Spellman. Never visits, though. Wish I did have a friendly niece like you. Where's Aunt Hilda and Zelda? Oh, right, those nice girls that used to live with us. They're up on the roof. I'm afraid they were no match for Jem's magic. <gasps> the house! It's a major disaster! Why bother cleaning? It's just me and no fun and games around here. You should probably go back home, little girl. I wish I could. I'm sure your family misses you. Not half as much as I miss them. Aha! Uh -huh. You have a lot oh, of explaining no. to do, young lady. Uh, I just I received your daily progress reports problem. on your morning oh, activities. No, no. Below par. Unacceptable for a stone. Someone's been getting a little too much liberty around here. Uh, oh, no, no, not you, Joyce. <laughs> Our daughter, Sabrina. But I'm sure it's nothing boarding school won't straighten out. Boarding school? Hey, let me go! Ah! Ah! You can't do this to me! Let me out of here! Hey, what's all the excitement? Salem, we gotta get out of here now! Are you nuts? I ain't leaving the Pleasure Dome. No way, no how. Uh-uh, that's final. Oh, yes, Doctor. I'd like to make an appointment to have my kitty fixed. <laughs> Like I was saying, let's blow this joint. Ready? <laughs> Whoops. I, I, I should really get those trimmed. Come on. I think I got an idea. She's getting away after her. I can't believe we actually made it back home. During my last witch work session, Hilda and Zelda taught me how to make a potion that stops time for everyone but me. Ah! We know you're we in know there, Redstone! Huh? Yeah. Uh, Sabrina, it's Daddy. You need to turn yourself in right now before things get out of hand. Uh, you want to say something, sweetum? I'm on the phone. Classic. I'm almost done, Salem. I... Oh, no! I'm out of powder, Dragon Tail. You have 60 seconds to come out peacefully, Miss Stone. Quick, Salem, before this boils. Bring me the Dragon Tail from the downstairs spice rack. Hurry! What's all the racket? Who are you people? What's going on here? Salem to the rescue! Fire! Yo! Why couldn't it be snakes? I like snakes. I'm the best at what I do, Bob. Your web is no match for my fists of furry. You two be sure to send me a wedding invitation. Coming in, Miss Stone. Here's your dragon tail. I'm gonna go inventory what's left of my nine lives. This ought to do it. Hmm. The little witch girl is up to something. Ah! 
Just what do you think you're doing, Stone? Freezing time, and the name is Spellman. What are you... No! Oh! I did it! It worked! With memories erased, let us rewind. Reality is restored for peace of mind. Hmm. Huh? I'm back in my room. Salem, we're back. We're home. <sighs> when did we leave? You don't remember anything? Then how come I do? Maybe I'm... I'm supposed to. Morning, Aunt Hilda and Zelda. I'm so glad to see you guys. Can't wait to hit the witch work when I get home from school. Huh? Never know when it'll come in handy. Hey, Uncle Quig, think we could play a round of Trivia Whiz Whoa. tonight? But it's not even family fun night. So? Day I've had, I could use some family bonding. Well, you're on, Sabrina. Feeling lucky all of a sudden? Nah, I've been lucky all along. I just didn't realize it. <sighs> Looks like a happy ending for everybody, huh? <laughs> Ready? Hey! Fire! <laughs> Da 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 da